Here we go, you already know it's Ayo Fave, your boy. This is the highest frequency show. You know, I'm bringing you my guest coming in from Ohio, right, man? Nah, bro, I kind of Florida, man. Oh, nah, oh, 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 See, oh, I did man. so much stuff out there, yeah, yeah, so you yeah, think I'm see, from out there, yeah, girl? Yeah, see, my boy, I'm just a Buckeye fan at heart. Nah, but I'm my man, Bradwick. Yeah, the nine five fizzy. You know I got yes, nothing but love for Broward, man. I lived out in Hollywood for about eight, nine years of my life, you know, so it was a good time, you know what I'm saying? We coming straight live to you today though from Orlando. Yes, you know sir. what I mean? We out here in the O shaking and baking, you know what I'm saying? I ran into my man's where we was at? We was at the P dot, we was at the Publix. We was at Publix trying to get some groceries. Ran and into shit. him at Publix. I was like, Hold on, man. He was like, Yo, you got that hat on. Uh, I was like, what hat? He was like, that, that M3S3. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my man's shit. That's my man's. They be doing their thing, man. You know, men make moves. Suckers stand still. Shout out to them boys. That part. They stay making moves out there. Yes, he, sir. He was on the battlefield, John, right? Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Battling out there in uh, mm -hmm. Florida. I was battling your man funds for the one time. He was actually on the opposing side. If it went out. When I first met your oh, ass, you was standing on a... The opposition side, yeah? Oh, yeah, facts. I was definitely rocking with Fonz for quite some time at this time. Right. Um, today, we have uh, my lovely makeup artist, e Easy here, doing the makeup. We going zombied out. We doing a Halloween effect. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You know what I mean? But we still going to take you higher, all right? You know, I got Zoe here. We chopped it up. He gave me three of his top favorite artists. You know what I'm saying? That's very, very dope to me because I like to look at who's the inspiration for you as the artist. Who's really inspiring you? Who made you do what you do? And why you doing what you do, man? To get creative, put you in creative space as much as possible. Right. You know what I'm saying? So th th that's, a, uh, that's a big thing for me and it's key. You know what I mean? What do you feel about lyricism today? How do you feel about lyricism today? Lyricism today... I mean, we got a few artists, you Keep know. Keep it who, stacked, though. Keep it 100. Look, yeah, look. Hey, always, you feel me? We got a few artists, you know, who doing their thing. You know, like I think Kendrick, you know, Kendrick is a big one of this generation, you know, of this generation, you know, who doing their thing. But lyrically, I ain't going to lie. I mean, look, I ain't seen every rap out there, you know, but the ones that they push mm -hmm. for a purpose is, uh, you know, they... Um, they destroying the youth. You feel me? They destroying the youth. Feel you feel you. me? It ain't no lyricism. No so, more. so it's just, you feel like they just destroying the youth, or do you feel like they are creating ways for us to, you know, what I mean, get? Because at the same time, you say we destroying the youth, right. but at the same time, the youth are all getting a bag. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like so, a bag is coming from it. You know what I'm saying? So. Right. I think it's a little bit of both. I mean, I think it's gonna go hand in hand. You know what I'm saying? A little bit both is gonna happen. At, at the end of the day, especially no, when right. you're dealing with guns no, and right. the discussion of them. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So, um, but what we're going to bring it back to is those top three artists, man, because mm -hmm. right now we're going to take them to a higher part in, in music, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to start off with your first artist, you know. So the first you told me was, who you told me first? Tupac. Yeah, Pac. Uh-huh. Tupac. That, um, that Still I Rise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Track, that was legendary right there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Every so, word, for real. Every single word, right? Mm-hmm. So, Tupac, what, what about this song inspired you the most? Besides every single word, obviously, in detail, he has <laughs> some dope shit. Right. He's always going to kick some signs to us. But um, what what really connected you to this song? Shit, him being vulnerable, you feel me? Him being real and uh, him being vulnerable, you feel me? I feel like as, as men, you feel me, especially black men, you know, we ain't vulnerable enough. We don't like to express our feelings and, you know, say how we really feel. Uh, but I think he documented that well in that song, you know, like the average, you feel me? What's the average of, uh, if it, what's the average story for us here, you feel me? And I think he depicted that well, and that's why uh, people gravitate towards Pac so much. But that song... Was uh, just in my uh, you feel me, in my example, you feel me, that was the one that just stood up for that. You feel me? Respect, respectfully. I feel you, dog. Right. I love Pac, man. Pac's definitely, you know, on on, on the round Mount Rushmore. I I don't know any artists in the world that doesn't put. I mean, if you're a real artist, I don't like a real lyrical artist. I don't see too many people that don't put them at the top. Right. I mean, even. Those in celebrity affairs, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Actually, put him at the top tier. Right. You know, this is an independent artist radio, I mean, broadcast, podcast. 
You know what I'm saying? It's an independent voice for um independent voices. You know what I'm saying? So if you're an independent voice, no matter where you at, tap in, man. We're going to make sure your voice is heard. Your message is heard. You got some things on your mind. You got some things on your heart. You want to go ahead and add to the world, man, and let them know exactly where you from, type of music you do. You know what I'm saying? So, like, when did you really get started, Zo? In, uh, like, rapping or just music in general? Or? Yeah, when did you really get started? Like, Shit. really, really get started So, really, in. bro, I had... Talking about locked in. Bro, I was in fifth grade with probably, like... Dame tu fuego, papa. Like, 70, 80 raps in my folder, bro. Like, you feel me? In the fifth grade, you know? But I wasn't rapping then. I was just writing, you know? And I was just storing, storing lyrics, storing, you know, uh, storing my raps. And I didn't even know how it would sound... When I'm actually saying it, you feel me? Because like I said, you feel me? But I wasn't even rapping then. I was just thinking in my head and just feeling shit, you know? You feel me? But I was in the fifth grade, bro. I had hella raps. That's lit. Fifth grade. But hell yeah. But by the sixth grade, I was battle rapping. By the sixth grade, you feel me? Then niggas Chocolate knew, like, milks oh, nah, and shit. Yo, yo, put your chocolate milk up, son. What's good? Nah, that part, for real. What, you had the french fries or the pizza? Which one? Yeah, we had the pizza game. Pizza game. <laughs> you know we had the pizza game. Those were good times, man. Hell yeah. But yeah, you know, that's, that's what it's all about. You found a love in fifth grade. You know what I'm saying? It's probably not the last thing you thought you was going to be doing. What, oh, what, no. Besides doing music, what you was doing? What you think you was going to be doing? Uh, shoot, well, I was running track, bro. I'm like, you feel me? I still got the the uh, the Broad County record, you know, for the uh, oh. for the 200 meter dash, bro. And, you know, oh. in Broad County. Like, I was going to be running track or playing football for real. I was, you feel me? I was nice on the field, too. You oh, me? you think you Hussein? Nah, <laughs> nah for real. No cap, man. Feel me, feel me, no cap. You feel me? You can Google that and do your research, but that but nah. So I was either going, you know. Um, so what you trying to tell me is you gonna give Cheetah a run for his money? That's what you trying to tell me. Bro, yeah, not no more, but I've been smoking too much. Uh, <laughs> that shit over with, nah, guys. Uh, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, yeah. You definitely gotta tap into that gym work. We gonna chop it up. We <laughs> gonna chop part, that, that up. Part, that part. We gonna chop that up till you already know. Yes, sir. You feel me? You know. Um. But that's what's up, man. All right. So, yeah, I want you to go ahead and tap into this right quick. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to dig a little bit deeper. This is a segment where we dig a little bit deeper into mm -hmm. that artist's song that you selected, uh, mm -hmm. Still I Rise by mm -hmm. Tupac Shakur. Right. All right. I just want you to give me the top eight. You know what I'm saying? Break down those top eight. And tell me what you feel when you read those top eight bars. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Give me your output on what you think he means Perspectively and metaphorically in that top eight bars. Go ahead and read it out loud. You oh, for it. sure, yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. He say, he tap say, it. somebody break me. I'm dreaming. Somebody, he ain't even say wake me. Nah, he said break me, gang. He said break me. Somebody <laughs> break me. I'm dreaming. I started as a seed, the semen swimming upstream, planted in a womb while screaming. On the top was my pops. My mama screamed to stop from a single drop. This is what she got. Stop. Right there. Now, you see how right. life is? You see how crazy it is, man? Like, let me take you high right quick. Let me take you so high right now. Mm -hmm. We're going to go high right quick. Mm -hmm. Because life is so crazy that, and life is so short. As fast as we come, pause, mm -hmm. is as fast as we go. Mm. You know what I mean? We take life for granted. Mm. You know what I'm saying? This is Halloween. A lot of dads going on. A lot of let's give a moment of silence first for for everybody out there in in, in Palestine and dealing with the wars and the wars that we don't even know about. We are gonna All give right. a moment of silence for them for, sure. for about ten seconds, man. Yeah, for sure. Bless up, bless up, bless up. God bless the dead. God bless those who's gone before us. You know what I'm saying? The Real young, talk. those that are actually dealing with a war, man, that mm -hmm. we don't know nothing about at, over here in America. I think we was discussing this the other day. We was talking about what? What was we talking about? We was talking about um, shit, just what Palestine going through and just what, you know, uh, the nation is going through is one right now, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, but... But yeah, you know, that's something for sure. Even that's something that's No, we was talking about how black Americans Oh, right, 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 right. Or black people mm -hmm. sorta of are coddled out mm -hmm. here, right? Mm -hmm. uh, like Yes, that's true. That, that is, coddled thing. That's yeah. what we was talking about. I mean it's just, it's it's a hard topic, man. It's like it is. these things it's hard that to discuss. it's scary to discuss these things, but it's a great way to overcome 
it's a great way to overcome uh, the barriers that we face. Right. Together. Yeah. Most importantly, together. Exactly. And we can have conversations, and it ain't to divide or be nothing like that. Exactly. It's just exactly. to discuss. Exactly. Of course. We right. want to bring us all closer into a place of, the, of togetherness right. and, and achieving greatness within, these, within ourselves, within the community. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Every, everybody definitely deserves to be heard. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has a voice. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? That so part. it's like right now. I'm about to become a zombie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> She's turning me into a dead body, guys. <laughs> as much as best as she possibly can. Yes. But it's for the fun of it all, man. It's 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 Halloween. I'm in a right. Halloween spirit. I got a song that was called Ghost Town. Make sure you guys check that out. It's on all it's platforms. Fire too, by the way. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to move weight in the ghost town, but even more so, it's just hard to be who you are mm. in the world today. So, mm. you know, Take these little things for. Don't take these little things, these small blessings that you're given every day. Don't take them for granted. Make sure you mm -hmm. cherish them, because like Tupac said, what he say? Run that back. He said, "Somebody break me. I'm dreaming. Break me. I started as a seed, a semen swimming upstream, planted in a womb. I screaming on the top was my pops. My mama screaming stop from a single drop. This is what she got. This is what she got. All right, so look, check it out." Mm -hmm. When you hear a man saying Somebody break me I'm dreaming What you be thinking about Like what would you think If somebody say Yo somebody What do you think When somebody says Somebody break me I'm dreaming Like they don't feel like Something real You know but you like ever... when you When you tell somebody I say somebody wake me Wake me up Like I'm right. dreaming But why are you telling somebody Somebody break me mm. Like mean somebody Make me feel some type of pain mm. Right mm. To be broken Right 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 right. It right, means right, like right. Alright mm -hmm. Make me feel some type of pain, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, than what I'm already feeling because it, I got to be dreaming for what's going on to be going on in my right. life. You know what I'm saying? So for me, that verse, that part alone, that bar alone stands out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I started as a seed, the semen. He didn't even say I just started out as a semen. He said I started mm -hmm. as a seed. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That takes it even deeper. To be a seed means to be planted, swimming right, upstream, right. planted in the womb while mm -hmm. screaming. To be planted in, in, in the womb of a woman, you know what I'm saying, while screaming, meaning while being traumatized, mm -hmm. while going through a pain mm -hmm. that you can't even explain. When's the last time you screamed over a pain that you couldn't explain? You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When's the last time you screamed in mm -hmm. general, like mm -hmm. just screamed? Mm -hmm. Shit, probably like a uh, four it? days ago. I ain't gonna lie. Like a real scream, though. Probably a real scream game, like four days ago. I ain't gonna what lie. What made you scream? Fucking America. <laughs> what wait, where are you at? I was in the car, bitch. I was in the car, bitch. I was about to get on the highway, and I was I was going through so much <laughs> shit at one time, nigga. Hold I was up. just, bitch, was I just <laughs> screamed like, ah, bitch, like, God damn it, I'm Hold mad, on, you bro. just screaming like a leg. Nigga, I'm screaming in the Hold car. Hold on, wait, nigga, what kind bro. of scream was it, though? Like a girl it, scream, or was it nah, like? like a shriek, nigga. That bitch was a shriek. You I want to, I kind of want you to reenact oh, it. Oh, nah, I can't do that, because like, I ain't fuck, if it, bitch, I'm happy with it. You felt it, though. But I felt that shit in that moment, just like the the pit of your stomach, Hell, yeah, it feel good, though. Like if a car was driving by and they pulled out you wouldn't even have been mad you mm -hmm. might have screamed again at them mm -hmm. that's the type of screaming hell yeah I was on that type of time I man. feel you man I was on that type of time and that's it, on some random shit though. but it was the world though it was the world that was causing that shit and that's you crazy know, this shit that be happening too like, you know what I'm saying you know what I mean, man. that's crazy you know what I'm saying so you you, you Started as a seed, the semen, mm -hmm. swimming upstream, planted in the womb while screaming. On the top was my pops. Mm -hmm. My mama screaming, stop. Mm. From a single drop, mm. this is what they got. Mm. 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 Situations, these situations happen, man, mm -hmm. on a regular basis. You know what I'm saying? Right. That line just make me feel like... These situations like never happen chance, on huh? a regular basis. Right. You understand what I'm saying? And it's, and it's horrible. It's not a good thing that these things are happening. Mm -hmm. And it's still prevalent today. My mm -hmm. mans. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? My guy is gone. Mm -hmm. And these words are still alive. 27 years. And kicking. Mm -hmm. That shit crazy. No, it's, it's, it's insane. Mm -hmm. Because as people, we grow... Mm -hmm. But what are we growing into? Mm. What are we becoming? That's real. You know? And I be thinking that. In order to get from 
a place we got to know where we coming from obviously but we have to set up the knowing of where we are going so you know we have to make sure we are doing what we are doing by networking and building together and coming together and creating together you know what i mean mm -hmm. like challenging each other to be the best versions of each other right. because that's what it's all about because in, in the world today you got a lot of people just trying to pull you down the minute you go up but at mm -hmm. the same time it's like why we can't all pull each other up mm -hmm. that's true you know what i mean what's preventing that you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. go into that hook for me what's the Let hook for see. still i rise go to the hook uh I, I, this I, shit I, remind me of maya angelou right uh yeah so that was based off a poem still i rise you gotta put your password in there again oh, but yeah that was based off a poem still i rise yeah for sure yeah man but he turned that bitch into something else you feel me you that know um, for me, maya angelo and tupac you feel me they actually was a little you feel me? they had a little relationship not if not much yeah but they for, had a sure, little for sure what was the yeah. last what was the last uh, you do poetry too right i do yes I what, do what's the last yeah. poetry room? i got my own day for poetry matter of fact may 19th is ohari and williams day in the city of broad county you right? what, what what day is that May 19th, that's also Malcolm X's birthday as well. But oh, May 19th, fire. you feel me? The mayor named it Zohari and Williams Day in the city of that's Fort Lauderdale. I'm you feeling feel me? either dead or old. It's one of the. I old. know, I know, and I ain't gonna lie. That's what I be saying. They, if, for real, for me. They be like, um, like you got your own day, you feel me? Like I don't even know how to really how to really explain it or I'm finna tell you how I feel, but yeah, for sure. Okay, so what you do? But yeah, I do poetry though. What you do for Halloween? Halloween, I ain't gonna lie, I don't even celebrate Halloween, gang. Okay, respectfully. Yeah, for sure. I don't respectfully. celebrate that shit. Respectfully, respectfully. Uh-huh. I understand. I don't celebrate it either. But no, this for is sure. fun because Ghost Town's coming out. And it's hard to move away in the Ghost Town. Right. And you see me, I'm inspired today by Michael Jackson. Check it out. My man, Ink Therapy. Straight out of Jersey, you mm -hmm. heard me? That part. Ink Therapy, my man's homie G103. Go follow him on all platforms. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We inspired. I feel like Thriller out here. We Thriller. doing that crazy shit. <laughs> Thriller night. Mm -hmm. Something's going to scream. Mm -hmm. and something, something's going to fight. Oh, That's I just, real. I just messed up all the lyrics to that song. But it was fun. Right. All right? You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you've been a lot of places, seen a lot of faces. Mm-hmm. Tight last, shit. Tight shit. Last place you did a poem. Last place I did a poem, probably in Edenville, which is actually, like I say, man, most people don't even be uh, knowing this, so I got to give a shout out to Edenville, and I got to let people know exactly what it is. Edenville is the first self-black government city in America. Ooh. And nobody be knowing that. Nobody be hold on, hold on, hold on. Round of applause. Thank you. Round of applause for the, for the history of Edenville, the Edenville. first self-government black city in but america see, when we stay stuff like edenville we okay. like we have to pay attention to the words that we're using because you know right. eden was the garden mm. mm -hmm. yeah. eden was the garden mm -hmm. no That's eden true. was the garden right now we got to pay attention to the times and right now a lot of people are biting into this apple you know what i mean so we got to pay attention to the times mm -hmm. pay attention to the frequencies that we're on mm -hmm. you know what i mean if one place can do it then a multiple of places can become just like Edenville. Mm -hmm, that part. So be be wise. Pay attention to that the part. pay attention to the fruits that you bite into. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Because some fruits will either help you grow, or some fruits will help harm you. That part. You that know? part. But you got to come together. Exactly. Got to come together the same way they did back in Edenville. Cause man, mm -hmm. if they had to come together, man. So you feel me? that's why I stress unity. I can't stress that enough. You feel me? Exactly. That's all my right, standpoint. All right, all right. Sure. Did, did you see the hook? Uh, Let no, me I, see. No, I did not I see the hook. Brought the hook up to you. Here's the hook. Okay, for sure. It says, still, still I rise. Please give me to the sky. And if I die, I don't want you to cry. Still I rise. Please give me to the sky. Please give me to the sky. And if I die, I don't want you to cry, bitch. And if I die... I don't want you to cry. I don't want you to cry. And then what does it say after that? Because they think life been hard enough. And they say I stay sharp. Now there's somebody else though, you feel me? Because you remember uh, no, from no, he no, had the no, outlaws no, no. on the Go back to the still I rise part. Oh, all right, for sure. Say that whole thing two more times. All right, it say still I rise. Uh -huh. Please give me to the sky. And if I die, I don't want you to cry. Still I rise. That's real, man. Mm -hmm. Because when you look up, when you keep your head up, 
and you think high of mm -hmm. highly of yourself, mm -hmm. you get through things, and you don't want people to cry for you. Why pity me? Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Still I rise. Give me to the sky. Mm -hmm. Give my soul to the sky. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? I feel like that's what Pac was going through. You know, because Pac is a big, you know, he's a big thinker. What you think he was going through at that time? I, look, so Pac, I mean, look, and I don't know the man. I just actually, uh, from this is stuff what I feel. Like, he yeah. was a he was a big reflector. He yeah, was yeah. he was so introspective, and I think he's seen his death. Yeah. You know, he's seen his death early. He, You know, he's seen his death, and he knew he was going to die. And yeah. he even said, like, you know, he don't think he's going to die by the hands of a black person. Right. You know, even though, like I say, in the end, he ultimately he did. I'm looking but, creepy. No, 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 hell no. I ain't looking creepy. Oh, yet. yeah, yes, you looking creepy. Hold on, wait. He said, ha, no, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, <laughs> don't do me like that, dude. Don't mess with you. Don't do me already. Nah, you know, because you got. Hell yeah, you looking scary in this bitch. Because at first I was about to tell her, look, what the hell? <laughs> no, she's snapping. She doing an amazing as job. Dry, shout out to the makeup artist. As dry as my face is right now, I ain't looking yeah. creepy, bitch. Man, shout out to the she's my face. My face is dry. dry. <laughs> my face feel like leather. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> Shout out to the makeup artist, yes, man. Yes, indeed. E Shout easy. out to the makeup artist. E easy doing her thing. Easy. Let's go. Shout She's out doing easy. her best. Let's go. We having fun out here, man. This is For a good sure. time. But yeah, no, nah, keep on going. Keep but going. I think he was thinking about his death, man. I think he's seen his death. Like, At this point, he's like, seen his death. If you listen to Tupac music, man, At he's seen his death. At this point in time, he's seen his death. At this point in time, he's seen his death. He said, Yo, you know how crazy that is to see your death, bro? I know. That must be, that must be insane, bro. No, I mean, like, how often do you think about death? Keep it a thousand. So... So for me, I mean, so for me and a lot of other people who's, you know, who are my shoes, you know, who have lost a friend, you feel me? I started thinking about death when my my dog died. You know what I'm trying to say? Hold on, wait, your dog Not dog? my pet dog, but when my I homie. I know somebody who had a rabbit and they buried him. No, 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 And he no. was like, yo, my rabbit, bro. Right, no, no, He was no, like, no, 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 look, check. So my man goes, yo, son, I had a rabbit, yo. But well, first, when I get to his house, he got like seven, eight cats. I'm like, yo, why you got so many cats? They like, right. man, cats. He was like, yo, one of the cats had a litter outside of my crib. My mom started feeding them. The neighbors started feeding them. Mm. So now we just got like seven, eight cats to be chilling on the crib. He's mm. like, but I really had a rabbit. I was like, you had a rabbit? I was like, so what you... What's going on with this right. rabbit? He's like, no. my rabbit. I love this rabbit. It gave me so much luck, good luck. I was giving good luck mm. all the time. So this rabbit died, and I lost all my luck. I was like, oh, Damn. really? Mm. See what I'm saying? Right. Like That's that frequency you was on. Mm. You was believing in this rabbit when mm. you should have elevated yourself to believe in yourself as much as you believe in that rabbit. That's I deep. said, But some people believe in that stuff. I don't knock them. It's neither here nor there. You know right. what I'm saying? You believe in that? That's completely fine. The right. rabbit, you should have cut his foot off right. if you really believed in it. Right. Cut his foot off. Right. Keep it in your pocket. They do that. That yeah, they do. In There's Ireland, people that in, cut in Ireland. Yeah. Street, and they hold on to that. Yeah. Bitch, yeah. They put that sh that iron on the bottom of it. And they burn that bitch real quick. It's over. Burn that little foot. Mm -hmm. Wrap a little string around it. Right. Throw it on their back. Like in their pocket. There. You feel me? Yeah. But yeah. Continue though. You know. What yeah. I mean? No. 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 For sure. I'm here, buddy. But hell yeah. But um. But now my friend, Deshaun King. You feel me? He committed suicide when yeah. I was in like shit. When I was in my high school. You know. For sure. For sure. And it was like it was just so you know so crazy and so eerie. You know, because that was my first friend. You know who I met in high school. Like when I was a freshman. Yeah. You know that's my first friend. And then you know. That's hard. He ended up passing away. But we was talking. It, it was just how it happened. But uh. But ever since he died, I just been thinking about my own demise. I think is. I think is. Kind of like inevitable, you feel me? You see, when it hits, when it hits that close to mm -hmm. you, I think that's when you start thinking about it. Right. Like the closer it hits to you, right, the more you start thinking about it. Like when uh, I had close just recently, mm -hmm. I had a cousin pass away. He's from North Carolina, My and yeah, yo, yo, um, I appreciate that. Um, and he, before he passed, this kid, man, like this, this man, he was. Literally, he didn't have any kids, about 35 years old. Worked on a boat, a fishing boat. You know what I'm saying? Fished every day. You mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what it is to go out there and fish every day in 2023, bro? Mm -hmm. Not everybody's willing to do that. Nobody, Not everybody's built like that. Right. You got to be built like that. Mm -hmm. That's something different. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's hard work. Every morning, up before the sun, you're not thinking about a gym routine. You're not thinking about... You know what I'm saying? Uh, what's going on on Instagram? Because you're out to sea. Right. You, you, you probably ain't got no service out there, first and right. foremost. You're not thinking mm -hmm. about, you know what I mean, who to swipe on. Mm -hmm. You're probably eating something 
not from Waffle House. Definitely not from Waffle House. Mm-hmm. You yeah, know what I'm no. saying? You eat something crazy. You know what I mean? And my bad. And um, at the same time, you know what I'm saying? His heart. Mm-hmm. That's what I, I admire about him, and his joyfulness, mm-hmm. and his playfulness, and his and his loving. It was just it's it's pure. It mm-hmm. was too pure to, for him to go the way he went. So it's like some people really go, mm-hmm. and when they go, we're like questioning, "Damn, why does this person have to go? Why was it this person?" You know what I mean? And I feel like Tupac kind of gave us that same feeling. At some point in time, mm-hmm. literally, no, he did, bro. where we like, damn, why the fuck he had to go? Why he had to go. I still why think would, that, bro. I'm like, bro, he, this? he died when I was born, and yeah. here I am growing up, and I'm still thinking, like, damn, Pop, like, yeah. why I had to be him? <laughs> the way you I said be that. mad, like, damn, Pop, <laughs> like, why they, like, why you let them niggas get up on you like that, bro? <laughs> Yo, wait, give me a damn again. Like, come on, man. Hey, you said, damn, bro. for real, like, what the fuck you shit, doing, dog? Bro, for real, that shit hurt, bro. That's why you got a job, bro. Fuck even and the Leo, bro. I'm and the Leo. If we, if I'm nigga, I'm going out, I'm driving, bro. I ain't right. caring. I don't care, bro. Right. You're not driving me nowhere, bro. I don't right. care. I don't want no driving, bro. <laughs> that You're part. not driving me, bro. <laughs> that part. I need to be able to skirt. That part on my motherfucking own. I need to be able to skirt. That part. Because if you can't skirt, mm-hmm. we gonna be like you skirt, nigga, skirt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nigga's like what? What? Mm-hmm. What you say? I said skirt, motherfucker. That bitch looking sick on that side. Okay, oh, I see wait. you. That it's about to get crazy. Sick, I see you. That bitch looking good on that side, man. Freaks come out at night. <laughs> the freaks come out at night. Yeah, you already know. All right, yeah, we're going to jump right into the second person on the list. Number two. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know. We're, uh, it's two good guys right here. These are two really good guys right here. They nice? Yeah, they the nasty squad. I don't know who you got first, though. Because this is where you played yourself. You ain't even Who know next? where you played yourself. Who next? It's up to you. We got two of the goats up next. The little baby Kendrick. goats. We got Kendrick and Cole. Which one you go with first? Let's go Kendrick. Oh, Kendrick for sure. Oh. Lyrically, lyrically oh. Kendrick. Oh. You think, who, but who hold I can on, relate hold to? Hold on. You think Cole. Kenny's better than Cole? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and it's not even close. <laughs> <laughs> I, I it's love not even it. Close. They think it's close, but it's really not. I close. love it. I love it. I love it. All right, so we doing Kenny coming in the second place underneath Tupac Shakur. We got mm-hmm. Mortal Man. Oh my God, yeah. Mortal Man. Now I, I I listened to this song a few good times after you sent you said it to me. You was like, yo, that Mortal Man. I mean, I heard this. Don't get me wrong. I heard the song before. Mm-hmm. I guaranteed I heard the song before The mm-hmm. song's fire I already knew the song was fire I liked it But I didn't really dive in Like I should have dove mm-hmm. in When I first mm-hmm. heard it But that's Kendrick And no 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 That's the thing about it You gotta understand As artists mm-hmm. we I, I am an artist an independent artist that, that that likes to embrace my originality. Mm-hmm. I do not like to sound like, and that's one thing I like about you. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm actually bringing you on. You know what I'm saying? You. Because when I did go back and listen to your music, mm-hmm. I actually enjoyed your originality. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. In the direction that you were going conceptually, you weren't trying to sound like everybody else. Right. You wasn't trying to build a sound to sound like everybody else. And I was like, okay. And it had a little message behind it. Right. You understand what I'm saying? That was pretty pretty exclusive and fire. I was like, okay, he's going off. This is mm-hmm. pretty dope. I like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because it took it from one extreme to the next. Mm-hmm. Here we go. We tapped in. Highest frequency. Round two. We got K Dot. K Pizzle. Mm-hmm. Check it out. Look here, I pay. Hold on, wait. Here it is. Boom. Read okay. those. He say the ghost of Mandela. Hold up. Chill, wait. <laughs> hold, the game. hold the fuck up, dog. <laughs> hold up. <laughs> You almost ran off with that What's bitch. What's up? What's up, gang? Come on, let me know. You let was trying know. to Marshawn Lynch that bitch just now. I don't even know how you. That you nigga know. said the ghost of Mandela. That's what he said, nigga. You know where you gotta be? No, right. No, right. Do you know how? Right. You know you gotta be. Where was you? You know where you gotta be mentally? Right. To think 
the ghost of Mandela. <laughs> bro. Hey, yo, this is good. This nigga wasn't on shrooms. You thought he was on shrooms. He probably was. I ain't gonna lie. No, bro. He might have had some shroom tea, bro. <laughs> no, for real. You know they got the shroom tea. That shit. I busting. know about the shroom tea. The sh- I, I, I don't know if it's busting. I'm just saying I heard it's busting. I know about the shroom tea. Now the shroom is something else. But we ain't, you know, but we ain't here for shrooms. We ain't talking about shrooms. But yeah, uh, yeah the shroom is something else. <laughs> the ghost of Mandela. Go ahead. What's after that? He say, I hope my flow stay propelling. Let these words be your earth and your moon. You consume every message. As I lead this army, make room for mistakes and depression. And I the- hope I hope these words be propelling. Yep. What do propellers do? They spin around and they elevate. They take you where? They elevate. They take you higher. It's the highest frequency show. I just want to make sure you know. This is the highest frequency show. That part. And you don't even know. Every song that you are grabbing. Mm-hmm. Uh, all high frequencies. Listen to what you said, bro. Mm-hmm. The first song you selected was "Still I Rise." Mm. What was that? That's taking you up already. Mm-hmm. I That's didn't true. make you select none of these songs. That's bro. true. That's true. I didn't make you. S- That's true. You you tapped in right when I told you this <laughs> is high. You tapped in. I respect it. All right, go ahead. We start propelling, and what happens? He say. He say, and as I lead this army, make room for mistakes and depression. And with that being said, my nigga, let me ask this question. Say that one more time. He said, and as I lead this army, make room for mistakes and depression. And with that being said, my nigga, let me ask this question. Fire. When shit hit the fan, is you still a fan? Fire. All right. Real shit. Fire. Real shit. Did you go into the ghost of Mandela? Yep. What's after that? Is that that's that the hook? That's the hook. That's the hook, yeah. Yeah. All right, so all right. Hey. <laughs> this is what I really wanted you to do. Tap in. I should fire in the back. Tap in. He yeah. said, like, who got your best interest? Like, how much are you dependent? How clutch are the put? How clutch are the people that say they love you and who pretending? How tough is your skin when they turn you in? Do you show forgiveness? What what brush do you bend when dusting your shoulders from being offended? What kind of den did they put you in? And the, when the lions start hissing, let's get back to those first two. Okay then, like who got your best interest? Who got your best interest? Like how much are you dependent? Oof. All right. Yo, 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 one thing about elevating, man. One thing about elevation, man. Mm -hmm. Notice that you have to ask yourself questions. You know? Mm -hmm. They say a genius, even a genius asks his questions. That part. But once you start questioning yourself, because, see, there's one thing we want to do all the time as as human beings once we're coming up in the world. A lot of people have been given religion. You know what I'm saying? And religion is their go-to thing. So a lot of people want to question God. But mm. once you know who God is, you're like, yo, question the God inside of yourself. Why mm-hmm. don't you? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but why don't you ask yourself all. these questions? Why don't you ask yourself why aren't you being accountable? Why don't you ask yourself why are you laying in depression? Why mm. don't you ask yourself these mm-hmm. questions? Because you're going to give yourself the answers. The jewels of in, are inside of you. You know, my name's A.O. Fave. I don't want you guys to misunderstand me. You know, I'm not looking to be anybody's favorite out here in the world. That's not my objective. Mm-hmm. But when I say A.O. Fave, I mean ambitious, young, and original. A.Y.O. stands for ambitious, young, mm. and original. Mm. You know, and mm. ever since I was about 13, I I knew. I We used to sell candy, fundraisers. You mm. ever sold candy? So, sold so, candy you sold yeah. candy, right? Mm-hmm. You've you done the fundraisers. Hell yeah. So, Even in high school, bitch, well, you was making money. I was doing that at like five. You know what I mean? Oh, like wow. selling candy in front of a stop and shop, in front of all types of places. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and the hustle stayed inside of me. The ambition stayed inside of me to always make sure I found a way to get it. It doesn't matter. You got to get it. But at the same time, you want to stay happy, right? So right. stay youthful. You know, stay young. You know, as much as you possibly can. Nobody's telling you to grow old and not gain wisdom. You know, we're saying act like you don't have any no damn sense to be a nigga all your life. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, 
anybody can be ignorant. That's the easiest thing to do. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody wants to run towards the easy things to do in life. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I'm here with Eat Easy, and she's painting the hell out of my face. <laughs> you feel me? And I feel like a piece of leather on a boot, <laughs> and, and she's shredding my face. But at the same she time, she, 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 she ain't taking the easy route either. You feel me? I might break out after right. You know, I got that good skin. I want to break out after this, be crying like a baby. Oh, God. But nah, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Like, we really got to stop trying to look for the easy route and like mm -hmm. you guys were speaking to when i was over there you and your lovely right. wife mm -hmm, talking about how america's cod mm -hmm. co coddling black people has been coddled mm -hmm. you know and i told you guys about trauma and all these other mm -hmm. great stuff and how we overcoming that great stuff mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and the thing about it is that i loved and i adored about you guys mm -hmm. that you guys saw elevation mm -hmm. in each other mm -hmm. and you guys are back to back like yes we stand on that. Right. We stand on the facts. Right. We know what it is out right. here. And I'm like, I fuck with these guys. <laughs> they got great energy together. Right. You know what I'm saying? You. So, yes, it was definitely a Shout great great experience. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You know what I mean? When, I, when you guys welcomed me in to have the conversation before we chopped it up, I was mm -hmm. like, yeah, this is dope. You know what I'm saying? He's on the same frequency. He's on a great frequency. He's heading in the right direction. All right. You know what I mean? Which is key. Oh, I I'm appreciate feel, you. I'm feeling dead over here. Like, I'm feeling really dead. I'm feeling <laughs> like a dead. You want to see a dead body? Boys in the hood. Boys in the hoodie. Boys in the poppy hats. What, what about boys in the poppy hats? You feel me? Ain't got a lot of shit looking raw. Uh, no, nah, we good. good but this is fun. But at the same time. Right. Right back to it. Right. My boy. Right. Kenny. Kung Fu Kenny. Mm hmm I need that fuego. Kung Fu Kenny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, look like that. Yeah, get the smoke. You, you got put that, that. Yeah, you can put that in there. You know, how frequency. How frequency. So you got to blow the, we got to blow the geese. What's you got to blow the geese in the air. Yeah, yeah, we got to. You can't do it without it. You know what I'm saying? Like I was saying, you got to ask yourself these questions, man. If right. when, when you ask yourself these questions in right. life, you get better overall. Do you show forgiveness? He's not only asking questions like questions to where you wrong about everything. Mm -hmm. Right. He, he's asking questions to like, yo, you might be doing some good shit mm -hmm. too. Like, are you cutting yourself some slack, bro? Mm -hmm. you, you, That's what I say. You could be hard on yourself too, my man. It's like mm -hmm. you're being really hard on yourself out here. And I've been that person. I've been really, really hard on myself sometimes. Boom. What else? Where we at? Come on, Zoe. That's because it's so easy, too, though. Come on, Zoe. I need you for this. Come on, uh, For sure. You got your password? Yeah, I got you. Uh, for sure. You asking for my password a lot, Joe. I don't know, bitch. Just be man. like, just give me my phone back, B. <laughs> Chill out, B. <laughs> it's a, yeah. Go ahead. Go into the next jump. Uh, we got two more balls. Uh, we got two more balls to break down. All right, for sure. Where we at? Uh, how clutch are the people that say they love you and who pretending? How tough is your skin when they turn you in? Do you show forgiveness? Hmm. Right now, it's tough as leather because I'm looking like <laughs> a zombie. But no, at the end of the day, that's real. How tough is... How tough? Mm -hmm. How tough are you? Everybody want to be tough. Everybody get a gun out here in this world. and everybody's motherfucking tough. But when it comes down to forgiveness, how tough are you? No, for real. Do you show forgiveness? Mm-hmm. That's tough. To. That's to. real tough. That is real tough, and you got to. That's tough, man. You got to. It's a hard thing to do, man. You can show forgiveness on somebody who snitched on you? Hell no. Nah. So if a nigga snitch on you, can't forgive him? Nah, I ain't, that, I, ain't, I ain't that grown yet. I feel you. I don't think I'm there either. Not like I give a fuck, you know, about it. I don't... I ain't one of them niggas who give a fuck about this whole snitching shit, because I ain't gonna lie, man. How you feel about snitching? I mean, shit, niggas don't stand on no principles anyway. You think I give a fuck about a snitch? I think we need we need more snitches. Shit. Hold on, wait. Whoa, 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 You think we need more snitches? Hell yeah, we need more of them. Like, hold on, wait. Hold on, wait. wait. Dude, you on the wrong place talking about we need more of these nah, niggas. Hold on, chill, bitch. You in the wrong place talking about we need more. Yeah. How many more snitches we need? Hey, all I'm saying is yo, this. Yo, chill, be your pause. We don't need no more snitches. Hey, yo. We listen. don't need no more murders either. Listen, listen. Let me tell either, you man. right now what we do need. What we need? We need 
to get back to codes, principles, morals. That's what I'm talking about. Establishing those. That's what I'm talking about. But creating more snitches isn't going to get us there. Hey, all I'm saying is... It's def that's definitely not going to get us there. When you think about snitching, what you think of? A nigga doing some shit and then being like, oh, don't tell on, on him. like Or like, uh, somebody killed a nigga brother and be like, oh, I ain't going to snitch. Man, I, think, I don't give a when fuck. When I think of snitching... Y'all niggas, niggas ain't got no When I think of snitching... Wrong. When I think of snitching, I think mm -hmm. of somebody who's with a group of people who mm -hmm. you have already called mm -hmm. yourself the family. Now that's different. No, if 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 I if I called you the family, I'm not different. You, do you know what you snitching? Like snitching is right. telling something that I have you around because mm -hmm. I trust that whatever you about to see, mm -hmm. you're not gonna say nothing. Mm -hmm. That's why I consider you family. My family, mm -hmm. if I consider you my family, I got you around. You mm -hmm. doing something? I'm doing something that you, I know you're mm -hmm. family. I know that you're not going to say anything just because I, I would do the same in return, the loyalty, the level of loyalty. Right. That's right? different. But if that's what I'm saying. If somebody's snitching, mm -hmm. only a person that close can be a snitch. But that's not... See, but nowadays, this shit all fucked up. They, like, making different terms that's of it. Like a nigga walking down the street and then a, a robber run by and they be like, hey, you seen a nigga? Oh, I ain't going to snitch. I ain't going to... Like, that shit's stupid to me. I feel like, man, what the fuck? Because you destroying our community well, that's, and then you don't want us to well, say nothing some, about no, it? That's Hell no. Nah. That's something different. Right, that's, that's different. Some, that's nah, you right. Different. If we family, now nah, that's telling that's some, that's some yeah, tattletale, yeah, nigga. Yeah. That's, that's some slimeless yeah, backbone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't got like, no you backbone. Family, nigga, you snitching? Right. Like, you snitching like we, we built we built on morals. That's people that, that part. comes from a place of morals. That snitching part. comes from a place of morals. That part. Nigga, we built something together. We built an right. empire together. We've been doing what we doing. Right. And now you coming out of pocket and you snitching. Right. Now uh, a person that's just being a tattletale and telling the cops good right. things because you know you seen some shit. Oh well, shit! I just saw that shit happen. <laughs> or a nigga I murder, had to do murder with somebody it. close to yeah, you. Yeah, murder somebody. And the police like, do you know who did it? And you know who did it? Uh, yeah, well, if if well, there's street justice too. And then right, man, street that's, justice that's true. I don't know. I come from a place of street justice. That's where true. Street justice is a thing. Street justice that's is true. a thing, nigga. It's, it's invisible, just like the KKK. Right, 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 right. Just as invisible as the KKK. <laughs> The invisible government, they call this ain't it? You know what I'm saying? So you got to understand, like, there's a difference. I mean, I don't I don't condone snitching, snitching. I don't, I wouldn't say kids don't snitch. I just won't, I would just say tell, do what's right. That's what I'm saying. I'm just going to say do what's right. First. Do what's right first. Thank you. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, yeah, like Spike Lee's do the right do thing. Do the right thing, <laughs> right. Spike said it, do the right thing. Do the right thing. Yeah. If it's wrong, you know the nigga wrong. That nigga did some grimy shit. Yo, son, Mo's moving too slimy out here. <laughs> you got to put it on him. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> but everything. Oh, I'm a dead fucking body. That's something else. But you know what I mean? Mm hmm No, I know exactly what you That's mean. That's next level. I feel you, brother. Uh, we coming into the uh, third one right now. We got next. We just did Mortal Man. Oh, uh, we got J. Cole premeditated murder. My nigga Cole. Now, I relate to Cole the most. But what do you think he meant by if shit hits the fan, are you still a fan? Man, like, on some everyday life shit. Like how I said, you feel me? How do you feel I about having... I got evicted having... again. Fuck it. It is what it is. Hold on, wait. So, when shit hits the fan, are you still a fan? Mm -hmm. The All right, when you listen to that... Mm -hmm. For me personally, mm -hmm. when I hear that, it brings me into Eminem. Mm. Stan. I start thinking of Stan. Mm. I start thinking of Stan. That's personal, bro. That's personal, bro. I like that. You understand what I'm saying? Because when you think, when you hear Stan and what Stan was saying, and, and Eminem was saying about Stan, he started writing this letter as from a fan's perspective. Mm. When shit hit the fan, can I still be a fan? Look, mm -hmm. this nigga's going through mad shit. He start penning M. Yo, my nigga, shit going crazy, my dude. You're, like, you're the only person that'll understand what I'm right. going through. Shit hitting the fan, right? For boy. And then all of a sudden, M finally, afterwards, after all the shit, M finally get the chance to... To get that to him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. By that time, the question that I got for this is mm -hmm. after you inspired mm -hmm. 
and you've made a connection with your fans, right? What do you do next? Mm. That's deep. Right? That's deep. Because now I, I've done what my objective, my objective as an artist was to inspire you to do something, maybe inspire others, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But now I've done that. Now, did I create solution in the song that I wrote? Did I elaborate to my highest frequency? Did I elaborate high enough mm. to where you understand where I'm coming from? You felt me, but now I broke you from whatever you was dealing with. Or did I just trap you on that frequency or trap you on that level of understanding and Mm -hmm. Made you question even more and mm -hmm. deeper to a point where you can't even exit out of it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, do you ever find yourself when you're writing? Do right. you, uh, you write, right? I write, yeah. So, as a writer, do you find yourself in a position where you're like, all right, I really want us to, I really want them to be able to do almost anything to this song, mm -hmm. even dance? Mm hmm. But the song is so dark. Mm. Mm. Do you ever see that? See, it depends on what type of songs I'm writing at the time. You know, it, it depends on what I'm uh, what I'm pinning up. You know, because most of my, well, not all my shit, 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 but most of my shit just be like on some, uh, not all political, but shit. You know, just on some shit like, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. You feel me? I be trying to get somebody to feel something. You know what I'm trying to say? I be trying to get them to feel something, man. What you want and them shit. to feel? What and you want, want to do something? I what want you, them to feel what, like. What do you want them to feel? I want them to feel like, uh, one, you're not alone, you know, and uh, two, you feel me that you ain't just gotta, uh, you feel me that you ain't just gotta be no puppet, you know, you ain't gotta have a like. It, it, it seemed like I say this, you feel me? Look, like America gave us a blueprint on how to live, you know what I'm trying to say? They gave us a blueprint on how to live, like they give us a manual on how you post on how a black man supposed to live their life, and I just feel like you don't have to read that shit. And go down that path, and that's why I base my shit, you know, right. what I'll be trying to say. Cause that real? Yeah, no, for sure is no, it, it for sure is real. They trying to, like I said, they want us in two places. That real? Man. And everything around us, to, all right, for that, just show that. You feel me? That's why I just try to, you know, say that, cause I feel like that shit matter, you know. Hell yeah. And the youth, man, they coming up next, and they need that shit. They need that shit. What that say right there? What's that? What that say right there? Right, and this is. I'm glad you. I'm, I'm glad you brought this up. Oh look, we on high frequency. We on. He this, say this in high. this country, a black man only have like five years where we can exhibit maximum strength. Who said that? And that's right now. Why you still a teenager? Why you strong? And why you want to lift weights? Tupac. Who said that? Tupac. Okay. And why you want to fight? And why you want to shoot back? Cause once you turn 30, it's like they take the heart and soul out of a man, out of a black man in this country, and you don't want to fight no more. That ain't real, man. That's what he said. And that's Pop. Ahead, he been Pop. gone for 27 years, and that shit's still relevant. You hear me? That's the same song. That's, uh, that's part of the interview. Oh, oh, you want that premeditated murder? Oh, look for it right here. I got you. You gonna find it? You looking good? You done? Bring that, bring that camera a little closer. All right, oh shit. <laughs> oh. Uh oh, my dog, looking like he coming up out the crib. Oh yeah, you gotta get my lips looking dusty. <laughs> get my lips looking dusty. Put that powder on it. Not too crackheadish. <laughs> okay. I just want to look deadish. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, we out here. It's Halloween, baby. Yeah, all the move weight in the ghost town. We gotta come up so here. Eat easy. Yo. I'm trying to think. Uh, the highest frequency. On, so yeah, so um, you don't see it? Nah, at least I'm chipping. That's not fried. Yeah, you fried. It's all good. He's talking about, yeah, you fried. It's all good. <laughs> Don't do me like that, Jim. No, it's all good. I got you. We here. 
So, um, another question that I have for you, man. What's what's the next projects you got coming up? I know you got some projects coming up. Yeah, I got some projects coming up. Shit, I'm um, shit, man. I'm uh, actually trying to release a book right now. But I'm trying to release a book. A book, like some book poetry and shit. Kind of, oh, poetry book. Uh, I, no, 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 no. So the first one, it, so. So I wanted it to be like a poetry book, but it just turned into not an autobiography, but just like some stories that people could relate to to get their stuff out some real shit. So it's called Forbidden Thoughts for a Black Man, you feel uh-huh. me? But it's like, it's just real life shit that I actually been through. Talk and it's like it. some shit you can learn from. Uh-huh. You know, like in the intro, that's what I say. You know, like you ever stare deaf in the face, like some shit you can so learn t- from. So tell me experience you, 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 stole, you felt like you stole, st- uh, stared deaf in the face. Man. All right, so we'll say this. All right, so we'll say this. And uh, this one of the chapters I got, and, and this uh one of my favorite ones. So it's called Ain't Nothing Pussy About Going Home. Now I want you to think about that. Ain't nothing pussy about going home. Ain't. Oh, so, so what you probably pretty much trying to tell me is. Right, hello. Mm-hmm. What's that nigga name from um, Boys in the Hood? He was um, Trey. Mm-hmm. You Trey. Hell no. You Trey, nigga. Hell no. Now I'm fucking... Nigga, you Trey, nigga. No, nigga. Let me out the fucking car. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let but me out the car, to, dog. But to a certain degree, yeah, hell yeah. But it's like this, though. You got to think about this, though. Look, 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 Pete. So this is where I got the chapter from. You feel me? So I'm in Ohio. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I was pulling into a gas station, gang. I, I was pulling into a gas station, and it was a nigga pulling out the gas station, bro. Mm-hmm. And uh, the nigga start mean mugging me, but the nigga got like tattoos all over his face, but the nigga look like scary as hell. You know, I ain't saying that niggas look scary as hell, but this nigga look scary as hell. You right, know, he right. he looked like your typical thug. Right. And uh, yeah, he, you feel me? So he go to mean mugging me, bro, and I like had to mean mug him back just cause what? You know, I ain't pussy. I ain't, I ain't, you know, you ain't gonna mean mug, you feel me? Me and I'm not gonna mean mug you back. Right. You feel me? That's just how we was raised. That's how we was taught, you know? If a nigga hit you, then you hit him back, right? So, uh, shit, so I'm pulling up, bro, and the nigga backing up. He backing up, so I see the nigga, like, backing up. You feel mm-hmm. me? He, like, mm-hmm. backing back up into the gas station. You feel right. me? While I'm walking in that bitch. Right. So the nigga walk in, but the nigga, like, shit, but the nigga gotta be at least, like, 6'2", six, 6'3", six, bro. Tatted up. I'm talking about every inch of his body had tattoos. And like I say, I ain't saying that's the sign of a gangster, but I ain't gonna lie. I could feel one before I could see one. Right. And this nigga ain't had no reason to play crazy. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So he walking that bitch. He say, "Hey, we got a problem, bro." You feel me? Nah, I wasn't even on no pussy shit. I'm like, you know, he grab you? Hell no, nah, ain't fucking grab me. How so the nigga you? like, you feel me? He walk in. He like, "Hey, we got a problem, bro." Nah. I he was kind of like irritated. This? No, oh, he, he grabbed me grab- like this. Bro, that nigga ain't grab me at all. <laughs> fuck you know, I already know what you talking about. But, but no, nah, I'm by the ATM machine and shit. You feel me? So the nigga turn up, you feel me? So I like, I feel, so I turn around and I say, why are we so quick to do that with each other? And we ain't that quick to do that with the people who's actually oppressing us. I don't know why that came out, but it did. Mm. And I say, you got a daughter, bro? Yeah. And the nigga looked at me and he said, yeah. And I say, why are you trying to throw your life away here at this gas station over nothing, bro? Like, mm. you feel me? Mm-hmm. So the nigga end up dapping me up. You feel me? The nigga who just was, you feel me, trying to get on that with me, he dapped me up and the nigga walked back in. Mm-hmm. Again, after he dapped me up, he said, bro, that's some real shit. He said, bro, I was going to shoot your shit up. That's what the nigga told me. I was going to shoot your shit you up. Gonna shoot your shit up? That's what the nigga told me. He said, I was going to shoot your shit up. And like I said, man, that nigga ain't had no reason, but that nigga ain't had no reason to, to even cap or, like I say, I ain't saying what a nigga supposed to look like, but that nigga ain't look like he was playing no games. Yeah, yeah. He looked like he was a real nigga from Cleveland, and he was going to do his thing. He said, I was going to shoot your shit up. He said, but but I ain't going to lie, you a real nigga. The nigga dapped me up three times. Yeah. And then and, and went on about his way, bro. That's and that was it, but ain't nothing pussy about going on, like. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, he got a chance to go back to his daughter. I got a chance to go back to my yeah. to my family, and that we shit like crazy though. Like, but think about that. Like, oh, or, or, uh, what would happen if I would have been on the average, typical nigga shit, which yeah. what we raised to do? Right. Oh, fuck you, nigga! Oh, oh, what the fuck you trying to do, puss ass nigga? I ain't no puss his head type shit. And then something yeah. happened to what me, or bust his head, or something happened to me, or something happened to him. I'm just saying. No, that's real. That's a different frequency. I like that. But it's but but not everybody got the ability to yeah, turn yeah, somebody like who was willing to harm you. you because feel you me? wanna know why? What's up, buddy? You on that frequency, boy. Nah, look. I told you you on that frequency. Bro. Look, my name because in look, Hebrew means the light. Look, you hear me? O- o- okay, my name in Hebrew <laughs> means the light or the, light. the one. Okay. The light or yeah. the one. Or Zohar. The one. You feel me? Okay. And my mama got a story about my name, you feel me? She always say that. Hold on, wait, not Zotar. No, no, Zohar. Okay, because I seen that movie uh no, Zohan. That's no, 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 no. What's it called? What's that? Big 
Big. It's a movie called Big with Tom uh-huh. Hanks. Mm-hmm. He was a kid and he goes up to this fortune teller thing. Right. And he goes, he gets a ticket and it makes him bigger than he's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. He starts fucking with older hoes and shit. Mm-hmm. He gets a good job at a toy company because he has this great idea to make a dope ass toy. Mm-hmm. You feel me? It's called, it's, it's dope. But mm-hmm. the um thing that gave him that special ability mm-hmm. was a machine, a fortune telling machine called mm-hmm. a Zotar. Mm, that's crazy Yeah mm. They're crazy That's what I'm saying It's all crazy They all connect That's why I thought you said Your name was Zotan Mm-mm. Zohar That's yeah, what Zoharian you feel me? My mama said Zoharian God, But God She said God told her To name me Zohar yeah, and she hard. said, "Can I add the I A N?" This bro, she bro, she been telling this story for years. All right, bro. so yeah, yeah, we chopping it up. We on the last segment. We okay, on the for last sure, segment. For sure. yeah, we in the five zero. You feel me? And I like that because you mm-hmm. know I'm a Sagittarius and I represent the last light. So that's the thing that we doing. So um, e- easy. What you do for Halloween? What you did? I had a Halloween party Ooh. where we just like went. We stayed at my house. We played like video games. Yeah. Not video games, but like board games and stuff. Yeah. There was this one um, game that we played. It was called Trap Spelling Bee. Oh and yeah. That was like the funnest game we played all night. And then I like <laughs> DIY'd like Jenga because I was gonna buy the the Jenga with the like take shots and stuff of like that. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But I'm broke, so. Secrets. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right. all so, right so look, 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 chill, chill, chill. Niggas, niggas be lying like they ain't. We all yeah, is. Chill. I promise. You. Facts, but check it, yo. So you had a you had a Halloween party. Yeah. What were you for Halloween? Okay, so I was gonna be Steve Harvey. Yo, oh, shit. I'm about to pass out. <laughs> Yo, oh no, wait, you about to give me a concussion? I'm dead, not but literally. I, I know I was Steve Harvey, but I didn't get the suit in time, so oh, I had. Did like, you have a mustache? I had the mustache and oh, I had like the ball cap. Yo, that's hilarious. But I wore like a witch's costume, so I was like basically that's Steve Harvey hilarious. as a witch. Steve Harvey that as been a funny witch. As fuck, you Yo, did, that's classic. Know, that's funny as fuck. That's classic. <laughs> So, um, seeing how this was your first experience mm-hmm. making somebody a dead person, yes. how do you feel about making me the dead guy? You know, if I had more time and I was prepared, I could, I would have done a better. Oh, uh, no, no, no. That's I'm amazing. not asking. <laughs> no, time that's out, great. time out. That's not what the question was. <laughs> We're not going backwards. We're going forward in life. Okay, okay, okay. We're okay. here vibrating at the highest frequency. So go ahead. Tell me, how do you feel? I feel all right. I feel good. You think you did a good job? <laughs> yeah. You think I look dead? Yes, you do. <laughs> That's all that matters today. And uh, we're going to wrap this up. But at the end of the day, we got to finish up with J. Cole. Mm-hmm. So go ahead, Zoe. Let me know how you feel about premeditated murder. Nah, bro. The song Fire, bro. Here it is right there. We're going to start with the first eight. He say, am I changing right before your eyes? Becoming someone you don't recognize. And if I was the skies, I'm on that shit as if I was the fly. I'm touching skies, no puffing lies. Hold on, slow it down, slow it down. We gotta go from the one two. For sure. Go back from the one two. Am I changing right before your eyes? Am I becoming someone you don't recognize? How how does that how do you relate to that? How does that make you feel? Shit. I mean, so like Have you ever felt like you changed right before somebody's eyes? Like Hell yeah. And they never even notice it? Hell yeah, I ain't gonna lie, hell yeah. If that's why I say like uh, like my whole high school experience, you know, like uh, my poetry, my poetry kind of escapades, you know. I went from, like I say, I bitch, I was chilling to being on red carpets and shit and all, and all type of shit. And of course, my, do you, who you my think he was talking friend, to when he say that though? Like his who, girl. You think he's talking to Shorty? I would think so, cause, cause in the end, you know, it, it sounds like he's talking to his girl in the song, and it's like, am I changing right before your eyes? Becoming like, like I say, being fucked up and then becoming the man. You know, what I'm trying to say all these hoes want you, all these hoes yelling at you now, and they like, you feel me? Like, yeah, you her boyfriend. Hello, wait, that is that. You think that's a problem though? Like when you think that that je- what is that jealousy? You think that jealousy is a problem? Um, uh, jealousy is a problem from women or what? Like, is it a problem for the relationship? Do you feel some type of way when that happens? I mean, it's not a problem for when, the relationship. When that happened to you, if it's healthy. Is it healthy? If if it's healthy. You feel like any point in time that's a healthy thing? Sure. I mean, look, we ain't going to look. <laughs> now, keep it a stack. Look, jealousy don't always have to have a negative. Con- not always. Listen to what I'm saying. It don't always got to have a, a negative connotation. So I like to know my woman still want me. Not not being jealous, overly jealous, but to know like, oh, like, so you better not be out here with these hoes. Like, okay, I like to hear that shit. I know she still want me. And she don't want me out here fucking with these hoes. She know I can. 
But I ain't saying that. And I know she can, but you know what I'm trying to say? You know, she don't want me out here doing that. So, but not yeah, like, just not be, checking that's my phone. That's a level of uh, affirmation. Not checking that's my phone. That's a level phone. of affirmation that right. you want. You know, not you want to be phone. receptive. You want to be receptive. Right. But not checking Not your checking phone. my phone. Not texting numbers back trying to see who that is. Yeah. Not like saying, have I been with a woman? Not like, or being like, oh, was it was a woman there? Type shit. You feel me? Last two. Last two. All right. What'd I say? Um... From a Civic to a Chevy, must have died and went to heaven like a passenger on 9-11. Please go find a reverend. They always send him to God. Right. They always send him to that way. Mm-hmm. I want to say you send him to God. You send him to what? A higher place, right? Mm-hmm. We always want to go higher. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We always want to seek. This is incredible, man. I love the fact that you have J. Cole, Kendrick. Tupac, I appreciate you. I'm glad that these are some of the top artists that you got on your list, man. Glad you're still cooking up, putting some new music mm-hmm. out. You know what I mean? Make sure you tell them where you, they can find you at. Y'all man. can find me at Come Up Zo. That's everywhere. That's uh, Instagram, Facebook. That's at Come Up Zo. I just dropped my latest album, Worth More Than Money. That shit should be in the damn museum somewhere. I promise you. That shit is real art. Just listen to that shit. I promise you. Um, shit. And yeah, you can catch me on there. I'm doing poetry. You feel me? I be in movies and shit like that. I was in Judas and the Black Messiah. So if y'all catch that movie, you feel me? Watch that bit back. Oh, word. And, um, all type of shit. So, um, Shit, I'm just on the grind. I'm just trying to, you know, That's trying fire. to elevate. You already know. Elevation, yeah. elevation, elevation. We going all the way up. Mm-hmm. This was the first episode of the highest frequency show yeah. with your boy, Year Fave. Make sure you check it out on YouTube. Follow me on 8HFS Podcast, AO Fave YouTube, AO Fave, that's it, on Instagram, uh, AO Fave on Facebook. Um, make sure you check us out Have Not Entertainment Make sure you check them out Logic's my man uh, The lovely e Easy. You know what I mean She's here with us tonight Happy Halloween to you guys I hope you guys are safe out there Don't eat too much candy <laughs> You feel me Have some fun Stay lit Squeak oh.